Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. We're here to solve this Rossini Sudoku by Japanese Grandmaster Kotasama from the latest WPF Sudoku Grand Prix. And this is a harsh moment for me because I'm dreading this moment where I have to tackle this very hard puzzle, 115 points. Some of the solver told me, well, it was overvalued, but I did not dare attempt it during the contest. And when I solved it afterwards, it was really, really a painful moment because uh, I'm bad at Rossini. And well, never mind. Let's attempt it, however, anyway. So those, what do those arrows mean? They mean that the corresponding digits are in ascending order in the direction of the arrow. For example, here we have this digit lower than this one, lower than this one. The same here, and here it's this one lower than this one, lower than this one, etc. And all arrows are given, which means that here the digits can't be in ascending order in either direction. So this digit is either bigger than the other two or lower than the other two. This is what it's saying. And now let's begin. So the first thing is that we must try to locate ones and nines. For example, in this box, where can one go? Because of this, nine can't go anywhere in here. And because of this, it can't go anywhere in here. So one is in this column. Now, one can't be here, so those digits are all different from one. Because of this, one can't be here, so the correct cells are here. Now, because of those ones, ones can't be here, obviously. Because of these, one can't be here. So one will have to be here, but because of this arrow, one is here. And one is also here, so that's two digits placed. And I know that whatever the digit I put into this cell, the lack of arrow here will be fulfilled. Now I'm saying that in this area, because of this nine, nine will be on the end of one of the arrows, so here or there. Now where does 9 go in this box? Well, it can't be here because of the arrows, and because of those arrows, 9 will have to be here. Now 9 can't be here, and because of those arrows and those arrows, 9 can only be here. So we will have a 9 somewhere on this row, but because of the arrows, it can't be at the middle of an arrow, so it will have to be here. Let's look at this box. Where can 9 be? It can be at the end of any arrow. Actually, this is not useful. But 9 must be somewhere in this column because of the arrow, it's here. So 9 won't be here, it must be somewhere in here because of the arrows. So that's not a 9. And this is a 9. And this is a 9. And this is a 9 by Sudoku, so I must have a 9 somewhere in here. So what about 1 in this region? Because of the arrows, it can't be anywhere here. But all of those cells are possible places for one. In this area, one could be here. At the beginning of this arrow, it could be here. It could also be here. With this one, three places. This one here is interesting. One can't be here. And because of the arrows, it can't be here. So in this column, one has to be here. And in this box, 
one can be anywhere in here. An interesting point I can't have one here and nine there. It doesn't seem to play a role at this point because one could still be here. What about this area? I know that one can't be here. One is not here. It's not here because of the arrows. So, three places. This is a real struggle, as I had mentioned to the kick of the video. So one could be anywhere in here, I think. In this area, one can't be here. It can't be here by Sudoku, but I'm left with all of those places. Oh, but now I'm seeing those sevens. They place a seven here, and that's interesting because now this can't be a one anymore. And as I mentioned earlier, I can't put a digit other than one or nine into this cell because otherwise it would it would push the one here, the nine there, and an ascending arrow here would have been needed. So now this two goes somewhere in here and we're left with four and eight otherwise. So the candidates here are one, four, eight. Here they are two, four, eight. So now that this is not a two, where well, does two go in this area? A two is the smallest digit available. So two will have to be in one of those two cells. What about three? Three is not here. So we could have two and three here. We could have two and three here. We could also have three in there. So that's not useful, I'm afraid. Where is two in this area? So because of this two is not in here. So two is the smallest digit available in the remaining cells. So it will have to be here. What about two in this area? It could be in here, except that, no, two couldn't be here because this digit can't be smaller than two. So two can't be in here. Two will be in here. So that's not a two, and this is a two. And there again, like in the previous video, I get some coloring Perhaps um, is there anything about conflict detection? So let's turn this off. So now this is not a two anymore. That's a two. And now I must have a two somewhere in here. But two here won't work because it would require one here to fulfill that. Two here will work with a one there. So two is in one of those two places. I'm also seeing that with this two and this two, I must have a two somewhere here. So it could be here with a one, or it could be here. So this is one or two, and there's a two in here. So what about two in this area? All right, well, never be here but that's about the only place it can't be oh no it can't be here because a two here would place a one in both cells there what about two in this area because of this two it's not here because of this arrow it could only be here and with this arrow it could only be here so two is in one of those places on this row, two could still be here. On this row, it could be anywhere. 
it could also be here. I'm seeing that there must be a seven in here, but I don't know what to do with this information. There is a seven in here, and the fact that nine is not available, seven will have to be in one of those two, and this is from seven and eight. I couldn't put the seven here. This digit is bigger than this one, so it must be also bigger than this one. And looking at the available digits, which are 4, 5, 6, and 8, this is from 5, 6, 8, this is from 4, 5, 6. I'm not sure this heavy pencil marking will be of any use. But I'm looking for stuff to do. Something else I'm seeing is that the five digits I've just highlighted must be in ascending order. Those three are ascending, those three are ascending between two and eight, two, three, four, five, six. So there's not that much freedom. So minimum two, that's like a thermometer. Minimum six, but because this is seven, this is only six or eight. This is from five, six, seven. This is from four, five, six. 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 3, and 4. And this is also ascending. So this could be, but this here is ascending. So this is also ascending. And I think that 5 here wouldn't work. If I try 5 here, then this is 6 and this is 7. But this here must be bigger than 5 and smaller than 7. So only 6 would work, but 6 is not available. So that's not five, that's not four. And this is between this digit and this digit, so this must be from four, five, six. And this is from two, one, two, three, four, five. That's not useful. But I'm seeing that two here wouldn't work because it would make this a three and this a one. And no arrow is given here. So that two won't be here. Is that interesting? On this row two could still be here or here. So this is from one, three, four, five. Not that interesting. So where else could be a place of interest? And I was thinking three has to be here, but no, it could still be two, four, five and six here, seven, eight, two with one and three. That would work. What about this three? Three is not here. It could still be here. It could still be two and three. It could still be two and three here. That's not a very interesting place to look. As I was mentioning it at the beginning, this puzzle is really difficult. not seeing what to do with all of that. Perhaps I should focus on this seven. Seven is not here. It's not in here because it's here. So there has to be a seven somewhere in here. It will do a very good job at here at being the digit here. It would work with that with seven, eight, nine, I think. Something else I'm saying is that because of this nine, because of the lack of an arrow here, this must be smaller than that. This is at 
at least four. So this is at least five. This is from five, six, and eight. And this is from four, five, and six. I'm not sure this is of any use. Oh, but I'm seeing that in this column, there's no three in here, and three is not here, so three is somewhere here, and because of the arrow, three has to be here. So where is three could still be here, here, or here. Both of them would seem to work. This is any digit between four and eight. This is smaller than that and that. It could still be a seven, I think, with eight and nine. Yes, that, that would totally work. What about eight in this area? Eight couldn't be here, but it could be here, it could be here, it could be here. The struggle is real. This seven now is not here, so seven must be somewhere here. And this can only be seven or eight. So now I know that seven here wouldn't work. Seven would put an eight here and there would be no option for that. This is not saying much. This is a somewhat biggish number because this is minimum two, three, four. So this is minimum four, not five or seven. So this is four, six, or eight. Four would work with two and three here. And obviously smaller digits would work as well. I remember solving this logically, or did I? <laughs> did I solve it logically? Not during the contest, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Five digits are available here. So only four digits here, two, four, six, and eight. So this is from two, four, six. This is from four, six, eight. Here, the digits are from three, four, five, and eight. So this is from three, four, five. This is from four, five, eight. I think that's correct. Those are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. That's not interesting. And actually, the pencil marks, I just... Oh, I'm saying that 7 has to be here as well. So this is also from 7, 8. That's interesting. I think that's interesting because I have a 7 8 pair here. That has to be interesting. Of course, that has to be interesting. Now, the remaining of the row is with 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is from four five six and this is smaller than that so this must also be smaller than that but anyway the available digits are all smaller than that so they must that must be also from four five six I'm 
looking for anything useful, anything will do. Seven in this column can only be here. Still not saying what to do. So this is ascending. Seven would still work, definitely. And I'm, what, what am I thinking? The lack of an arrow here could be useful. If I put the nine there, then this must be smaller than that. The line is here, this can't be ascending, so this must be smaller than that. So it must be 4 or 5. So let's try this. If I put a 9 here, then this is from 4, 5, and this can't be a 4 anymore. So this has to be smaller. So the only way is like this, and it doesn't work. I'm not sure this is part of the intended solution, but this is at least something with reasonably, well, a reasonable difficult elimination. So that's a 1 now, that's a 9 here. This is not a 1 here. And this is still not resolved. This is somewhere between 3 and 9, and all remaining digits fit the job. This is from 4, 5, 6, and 7, and this is any digit between 4 and 8. So a very small victory. We have a 3 here or there. What about 3 in this area? I could still have 3, 2 and 1 there. I could definitely have a 3 here or here or here. This is not helping that much. The distress is real. You can taste the, the panic in my voice. Well, taste something in a voice that doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I will agree with you on that. What else can be done? How do people solve this quickly? I need to know. I can't see anything. It could still be here, it could still be here. It could still be here. Well, I've, I've just posed the video to just think about what's happening and at some point it came to me that 8 doesn't have lots of places in this box. Namely, it can't be anywhere here because well, 9 is not available, so 8 can't be in the middle of an arrow. And 8 can't be here, so on this row 
8 is here, and because of the arrow, and because of the 9, 8 is here. So that is definitely an improvement. So 7 is here, so it puts a 7 here or there. So now this can't be 8 anymore, so this can't be 6 anymore, remembering that this is ascending. And now, is this a real breakthrough or just some minor progress? I'm saying that 8 now can't be here, and because of the arrow it can't be here. So 8 has to be somewhere here. So 8 is not here, 8 is not here, and this is not a 6. Definite progress. So 8 and 7 are both in here. Seven here puts the eight there. Seven here would put the eight anywhere, and the lack of an arrow will be fulfilled anyway. So that doesn't help so much. This arrow will be fulfilled. This arrow will be fulfilled. Hmm. This is not that much progress in the end. So eight is not here. Eight is not here because nothing comes between eight and nine, but I'm so, I've still got four places for eight in this area. Eight could still be here. Eight could still be here. Oh, that's correct. Eight is in one of two places there. What next? So perhaps I will have to pause the video again. As I'm seeing absolutely nothing else at the moment. Hmm, I've just noticed this 3-4 pair. This 3-4 pair here which removes this four option, this four option. So this is now from five, six, and seven. I'm not sure it will be that useful. And note that a four here would have four, so three here which we would have broken that, so that couldn't be a, a 4 anyway. The 3-4 there was a very valid reason anyway. So is that some definite progress? I wouldn't bet it. Oh, oh that's interesting. A Y-wing. So this could never be an 8, because then this would be a 6, this would be a 5, and there would be no candidate for this. So this can't be an 8, this has to be an 8. And now this is a 7, this is 8, and it pushes the 7 into this cell. And uh, perhaps this will be a real life changer, so that's not 8 and that's not 6. Because this must be bigger than that. Now this 8 removes this 8 here. We have a 1-4 pair here, so that's a 5, that's a 6. This is from 4, 5, and 6. And in this column, this has to be the 8. In this column, this has to be the 8. This could be any digit between 2 and 6. So this is ascending, and this is at most 5. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. So I'm not sure what to do with that. But now, here we're left with a 3-4 pair. 
But we know that 4 is somewhere here, and by the way, this is 8. There's a 4 in here, so that's the 3, that's the 4. So now there's no 4 in here, 4 has to be somewhere in here. Actually, this 8 here resolves this pair. Those are 3 ascending digits, so they must be 2, 4, 6. That's not 6. Here they are ascending, so this is 3, this is 5. All of a sudden, there is a flurry of activity. A 4 here wouldn't work, because then this would have to be a 5, and this would have no candidate. So this row still needs one, three, four, six. What about that? This is not a two anymore. So the two in this box is here. This is from three, four, five. This is from one and five. One, three, four, six. So there has to be a two somewhere in here. So this is one or two, and we are left with a one, two pair here. So I won't have a one in here. I won't have a one or a two in here. So the 1 and the 2 are here, making this pair. This is 5 or 6. This is not a 1 anymore. Here I'm left with 3, 6 and 7, but they are not ascending, so this is not a 6, this is not a 7, so that's a 3. And a 6, 7 pair on those cells, so that's a 5. This is not ascending, so... 4, 8 are in this order, 5 is here, that's a 6, this is from 2 and 5, but 2 here wouldn't work, it would require 1 here and there, so that's a 5, that's 4, That's not 5. The 5 on the row is here, so that's 6. 5, 3, 2, 1. 4 and 1 here, 5 here. 4 and 3, that's a 4, that's a 3, that's a 1, that's a 2. So the 1 is finally here, that's a 1. That's 8, that's 7. No, that doesn't work. What did I do? Let's think more clearly. No, there's no one in here. Those are 6, 7, and 8. So this is 6. This is 7, this is 8, and that is working. That's the way you do it. 6 here, 1 there, 4 here. Hopefully that won't break with a final three in here. And this is it. That's the end of the struggle. So I lost a lot of time not seeing something about a pair, a three, four pair in here, and not seeing that Y wing, which was really the key step, that completely evaded me. So perhaps if I tried it now again, I could solve it in say 70% of the time I did now. But anyway, I think the 115 points were well deserved with this puzzle. And congrats to people who solved it in a fast time. That's a great achievement. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon on Sudokanar.